Item number, SCP-4109, Containment Class, Safe, Level 1-4109 Unrestricted, Special Containment Procedures. The property containing SCP-4109 has been purchased by a Foundation front company and is to be controlled under Cover Story 93, Private Property. A 3.6 meter tall metal fence has been constructed around the perimeter of the property. Data collected by TMTO.AIC is to be checked weekly for notable inconsistencies. Edible waste matter produced during testing is to be provided to Menagerie Site 37. Description SCP-4109 is a large pile of citrus fruit located in a derelict barn in Gainesville, Florida. Despite having removed over 10,000 kilograms of fruit from the pile, SCP-4109 has not reduced in size. The fruit comprising SCP-4109 is unable to experience decomposition when part of the mass. Fruit removed from SCP-4109 decomposes at a highly accelerated rate, being reduced to dry remains after three days. Fruit removed from SCP-4109 appears physically non-anomalous until peeled. When peeled, the rind of the fruit will reveal an image, designated SCP-4109-1, on the inferior side. SCP-4109-1 resemble the art style, tone, and structure of modern editorial cartoons, particularly those published in print newspapers. SCP-4109-1 mainly depict situations between what are currently believed to be anthropomorphized fruits. These entities appear physically humanoid, with the most prominent difference being their large featureless heads, lack of hair, and abnormally pigmented skin. SCP-4109-1 are extremely formulaic, with instances regularly having the same basic narrative as other instances with little to no deviation. This narrative often revolves around the condemnation of certain practices with a somewhat pessimistic tone. The art style of SCP-4109-1 similarly follows this trend, with characters often being identical copies of one another with slight differences to denote things such as age and occupation. Addendum 4109 during a brief relocation of Foundation resources, it was found that the current methods of cataloging and analyzing SCP-4109 instances were severely inefficient, requiring eight D-Class personnel to effectively meet data projections. In order to avoid the tedious process of manually stripping and recording SCP-4109-1 and the lack of notable instances discovered during testing, documentation and categorization of SCP-4109-1 has been assigned to TMTO.AIC. TMTO.AIC is a former Foundation Security Intelligence, currently operating within a modified industrial orange peeler, and has been repurposed to effectively categorize physical media. TMTO.AIC possesses a wide range of knowledge regarding internal operations, and has been designed to recognize potential anomalous threats to Foundation interests. Included below are the summarized contents of SCP-4109-1 as collected by TMTO.AIC. Test number 57. TMTO.AIC Summary. Selected excerpt. A classroom is occupied by several students and a teacher. The students sit at desks holding textbooks titled Book, while the teacher stands by a chalkboard. The chalkboard reads, Knowledge. One student raises the textbook and states to another student, I keep swiping, but I can't turn the page. Analysis. Children lack the mental capacity necessary to understand how physical print media books function. Children are not provided the correct nutrition required for the development of fine motor skills necessary to turn the pages of a book without damaging them. Children are unable to recognize print media following exposure to a viral anti-meme, obscuring all previous knowledge of print media. Number of similar excerpts, 3581. Final conclusion. Children are a detriment. Test number 94. TMTO.AIC Summary. Selected excerpt. A beach is occupied by two children and several adults. The adults are walking aimlessly while holding cell phones. Beside the children are two large holes. From these holes emerge feet similar in appearance to the adult characters. The children are talking and holding shovels. One of the children asks the other, how many did you catch? Analysis. 
Adults occupied with technology are unable to supervise their children, allowing them to violate OSHA regulations and create safety hazards without repercussion. Anomalous life forms similar in appearance to humanoid feet have begun forming in large sand chasms, feeding on inattentive individuals who fall into them. Children regularly create sacrificial pits in highly trafficked areas, hastening the process of collecting human remains by allowing inattentive individuals occupied with technology to fall in themselves. Number of similar excerpts. 10,219. Final conclusion. Technology is destructive and frightening. Test number 176. TMTO.AIC Summary. Selected excerpt. An adult is sitting on a stool at a bar counter. Behind the bar is a second adult, presumably a bartender. The customer opens their wallet and asks for a glass of alcohol. The bartender serves them a glass cup, presumably containing alcohol. The customer looks into his wallet again and asks for a second glass of alcohol, which they are provided. Upon asking for a third, the bartender asks the customer, tell me, why do you keep looking into your wallet? The customer replies, I have a picture of my wife in there. When she starts to look good, I know I'm too drunk. Instance is accompanied by a large white border, with the words, LOL, too funny, written along its top, followed by several smiling emoticons. Analysis. The customer's wife is affected by an anomalous phenomenon directly proportional to the blood alcohol content of her significant other. The beverage has steadily been converted into a highly hallucinogenic substance by a waterborne bacteria that has been spread through the primary bottling company en masse. The man is currently possessed by a Tartarian-class demonic entity that requires a significant level of inebriation to effectively subdue the entity and regain full control over their bodily functions. Number of similar excerpts, 17,498. Final conclusion, marriage is harmful. Test number 214, TMTO.AIC Summary. Selected excerpt. An elderly character is walking down a sidewalk holding a phonograph. Strapped to the back of the individual is a large car battery, which is powering the device. The individual appears to be struggling to remain standing. A younger character is viewing the elderly character from a distant window. The elderly character says, MP3 player, MP3 player, who needs one of those? You can't beat the sound of genuine records. Analysis. Digital media has become inaccessible and unreliable following an unknown K-class scenario resulting in the obsolescence of technology requiring internet access with a more heavy dependence on physical records and media. A widespread epidemic of mimetic hazards has reduced the human population's ability to make informed decisions, specifically targeting rational thought and analytical reasoning, instead depending on cold logic, heuristics, and cognitive biases. This has resulted in suboptimal decision-making in regards to human factors, and a heavy reliance on personal beliefs and anecdotes. The collapse of the Foundation and the utilization of anomalous weapons on a widespread scale has resulted in the collapse of human civilization, resulting in apocalyptic conditions for the remaining survivors. In an attempt to correct this, humans have begun sacrificing material goods and worldly possessions in an attempt to trigger an artificial rapture or to summon an unknown divine entity. Number of similar excerpts, 31,843. Final conclusion. Everything is terrible. Thank you guys so much for watching, and a huge thank you to all of my patrons on Patreon. Special shout out to my level 4 patrons, Lesby Friends, Scrubversive, and Alexis the Great. If you would like to see your name at the end of my videos, see my videos early, and get some other cool perks, head on over to patreon.com slash drmaxwell. Link in the description.